Isab Mariama, Jesus the son of Mary, Wajihan fi dunya wal akhira, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter, wa min al muqarrabin, and of the company of those nearest to God. He is the word of God. But your understanding and our understanding is different. See, the Hindu, my ancestors, they say everything is the word of God. The Hindu, my ancestors, and my cousins who are not converted. My forefathers were Hindus. I'm an Indian. My forefathers were Hindus. They worship men and monkeys, elephants and snakes. That's my forefathers. And we worship each and everything, element, the rivers, the mountains, the trees, anything, everything, because my forefathers philosophized that everything is the word of God. So if everything is the word of God, it's God. The word of God is God. He says no. The Muslim says no. You say yes, only one exception. Because God created everything by his word. Book of Corinthians. He says, by faith we know that the heavens and the earth were created by the word of God. And that the things visible came through the force invisible. Meaning the invisible will and plan and will of God brought everything into being. By God's word, he willed it. But you say yes. But it's not God. Everything, God said, and God said, book of Genesis, let there be light. And there was light. Meaning the sun. That's his word. He said light, or he said sun, sun came. Stars, stars came. Trees, mountain, dog, pig, everything is his word. But that's not God. It is God's word. But it is not God. But you say yes. You agree with me. But exception, that Jesus being the word of God is God. You make an exception. The Hindu makes no exception. The word of God is God. You say yes, the word of God is not God except one. That is Jesus. We Muslims say the word of God is not God. Not many, nor one. None. The word of God is his word, but is not him as I. My words are not me. I started here about five past or ten past six, and I'm talking and I can talk to you till midnight tonight. And I will not diminish in my size. I'll keep on talking and talking and talking, and I'm still the same did I. I'll get tired, but I'm the same did I. Because my words are not me. If my words was me, then every word I speak, I start diminishing, getting less and less and less, till I dissipate, vanish away. Greater than all. You see, so God Almighty, he creates by his will, which we describe as his word. He is the word of God. And this is what the Quran testifies against. So, Paul, tell them, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, La taghlu fi dinikum. He says, do not go to extremes in your religion. وَلَا تَقُولُوا أَلَى اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْحَقِّ And don't say anything about God except the truth. إِنَّمَا الْمَسِيحِ Most certainly the Messiah, translated Christ. إِنَّمَا الْمَسِيحِ O Isa ibn Maryama, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah is a messenger of God. وَكَلِمَتُهُ And a word proceeding from him. Word, word, word again. Is a word proceeding from him, Al-Qaha ila Maryam waruhum minhum, which he bestowed upon Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. Faminu billahi wa rusulihi, so believe in Allah, God Almighty, and his messenger, Jesus, believe in him. That he is the word of God, but the word of God is not God. As such, we must love him, respect him, revere him, follow him, but don't worship him. That's all what we are saying. Love him, respect him, follow him. But you are not prepared to follow him. The Christians don't want to follow Jesus. Jesus says, verily, verily, I say unto you, most certainly I'm telling you, except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. There's no heaven for you unless you are better than the Jew. That's what it means. Words have any meaning, I don't know, in Danish if it means something else. Except your righteousness, your good deeds, ex exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall by no means enter the kingdom of heaven, there is no heaven for you. That's what he said. 
And I'm asking, how can you be better than the Jew by not keeping the laws and the commandments? You don't keep the laws and the commandments. You say the law is nailed to the cross. You say you are living under grace. I'm asking, are you circumcised? Well, no. Your Lord was circumcised on the eighth day. When he was eight days old, he was circumcised and named Jesus by the angel when he was in his mother's womb. Your Lord was circumcised and you are not. In which way are you following him? He said, he is not of me who does not take his cross and follow me. Take up your cross and follow me. You're not following him. He never had the pig. You are all pig eaters. Am I right? The whole Christian them, they eat pigs. When the Lord Jesus didn't eat the pigs, none of his disciples ever touched that abominable flesh. And everyone is going the other way around. He was circumcised, you're not circumcised. He didn't eat the pig, you all eat pigs. Amazing situation. And you say, you follow him. In which way are you following him? He said, you are not of me if you don't take up your cross and you follow me. You don't belong to Jesus. We belong to him. See, because we follow him. Jesus said, not what gets into your mouth make you filthy, but what gets out of your mouth make you filthy. Brother, brother, please, don't, don't attribute anything to Jesus which Jesus didn't say. Jesus never uttered those words. Look, you got the Bible in your hand. These are the words of Peter. Peter said that. <laughs> In the book of Acts, in the book of Acts, sir, in the book of Acts. You learn about Cornelius. Cornelius was the first Gentile to become a Christian. You like to find those words? Go ahead, you find them, and you tell me that Jesus said not what goes in, but what comes out that pollutes you. i like you to find those words. Right, next question, if there's any. Is there any other questions? Assalamu alaikum. Could you kindly clarify the death of Jesus according to Quran and Hadith? Because in one, uh, at one place in Quran it says, "Is called Allah Ya Isa Inni Mutawafika Wa Rafiuka Ilayya," and when Allah says, "O oh Isa, I take the life from you," literally it means I take the life from you, Wa Rafiuka Ilayya, and take you upwards to me. And in another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ And they did not kill him, and they did not crucify him. So the question is, who was crucified, and what does the Holy Ghost, Ruh al-Quddus, have to do with the birth of Jesus? Thank you. I don't think it was one question, quite a few in one, wrapped up. What does the Holy Ghost have to do with the birth of Jesus? Well, look, I don't know about the Holy Ghost, but I do know that Allah Ta'ala, according to the Holy Quran, when he gives the good news to Maryam alayhi salam of the birth of his child, she says, She says, Oh my Lord, how can I have a son when no man has touched me? So in answer to that, Allah says through the archangel, gave her to the angel, says, what is it? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Qala yakhluku ma yasha. Said, even so, Allah creates what He wills. Iza qada amran. Whenever Allah decrees a matter, he merely says, kun, be, and fayakun. So we have no idea about the Holy Ghost coming and doing his job, what he did or what he didn't do. Allah, for Bari, Allah Bari Ta'ala to create, he wills it, and the thing comes into being. There's no Holy Ghost anywhere that I can see. I don't see any Holy Ghost anywhere. With regards to the ayah, Allah says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا سَلَبُوهُ They didn't kill him and they didn't crucify him. وَلَكِنْ شُبِّعَ لَهُمْ But it was made to appear to them. So, and those who dispute therein are full of doubts. They have no certain knowledge. They're only following conjecture, guesswork, fiction. For a surety, they killed him not. 
Bal Rafaullah Ilay. But Allah took him up to himself. That is what Allah says. They, they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but Allah took him up to himself. This is my understanding. Allah took him up to himself, and he is coming back. He will come back. Inshallah. Who was, cru who was crucified? <laughs> that you go and ask your learned men. As far as the Christian is concerned, he is asking me, I answer him. This is you are going into an entanglement yourself for no reason. Allah won't question you on the day of judgment, who was crucified. He tells you, I told you that Jesus was not killed and he wasn't crucified. He won't ask you who was crucified in his death. That's not a part of your curriculum. So once you start wanting to fly, when you can't walk, you will trip and fall. You'll get hurt. There is a reference in the but book. sir, sir, we know that one person was crucified for sure. Because oh, where did you get that? We know from... No, no, where do you know from? from? We know from history. Which history? Whose history? Who wrote that history? Some persons. No, I who? Can't, no, no, I can't, no. I can't put the Is name. it in the Quran? No, it's not. Is it in the Hadith? But that's why I'm asking. No, no, that was, that's, there's, that's there's why I'm nothing asking. in the Hadith, there's nothing in the Quran who was crucified. So where are, where are you trying to trip yourself now? I want to know. No. Where did you get these ideas from? Sir, I can reply no. to him. We no. know. I can no. reply. No, please. 